It's always funny to me when we have people or companies that backtrack on the statements that they have made when it comes to either criticism or backlash that is arising, pretty much not sticking to their roots. And with Concord now, we are having apparently the devs or the publishers removing the LGBTQ plus tag from their Steam homepage. And this is also all coming from the terrible Steam player count numbers as you can see right here on currently a downward trend with only 241 players playing currently with a 468 player peak in the 24 hour period and what makes the whole situation even more funny is that you have leads and especially the company itself that have included in their statements that they're all about inclusivity and respectful workplace and the culture this and that and then you're having them making moves like this and again it is not working people are not buying this game even if you did remove the tag no one is buying it people already know that your game is full of dei elements and on top of that you're also having pronouns being added which are extremely unnecessary and before we get into the article please don't forget to subscribe like or dislike it doesn't matter it helps with engagement and I much appreciate it. As we get into the article, the development team, or at the very least, the community management team has reportedly removed the LGBTQ plus tag from Concord store page following games release and abysmally bad player count. And if you go over to Concord's Steam page, you can see that the LGBTQ plus tag used to be up front and center right up here, but now we have politics and political sim being up front and center which again makes no sense as to why you would want that to be there you would expect them to also want to remove that but that isn't the case and when it comes to these tags the way it works is usually when it comes to their community page whatever is mentioned most frequently is usually added onto here it's usually by the players not by the publisher or developer but what makes it ironic is that you have to have either the developer or publisher to go out of their way and request Steam or just themselves to remove whatever tags they don't want on there, which makes this whole situation even much more worse to the people that are supporting this game for what it is. The official Concord account on X confirmed the game went on sale at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on August 23rd, writing, Do you think you can handle the wilds? It's time to find out because Concord is now live. About 10 hours later, Steam user Modding Spree noted that Firewalk Studios, the developer, removed the LGBT and political tags from the game. He wrote in the game Steam forum, LGBT and political tags removed and blacklisted. Obviously, the political tags have not been removed yet. He continued, the developers have made a big deal about this game being for modern audiences, all 600 of them, but for some reason demanded Steam to not remove these two tags, but also to blacklist them, plus any similar tag. It's too late. People already know that this game has a clear agenda. I mean, the characters speak for themselves. And so now we get to the portion where we're having two individuals, pretty much one supporting the removal of these types of tags. And then you have another user, which I want to get more into, pretty much the core modern audience of this game. And we're just going to get right into it. Another named Kai questioned, why were the tags LGBTQ plus and politicals removed? He added, I sort of understand why political was removed since it's a game and has nothing to do with politics, but LGBTQ plus was a good representative tag. Why was it removed? How the heck am I supposed to find good games for me and my husband? I won't even talk about whole 308 player count thing. Chuds ruined it for us. As fans of Destiny 2, we were looking forward to this game. Where the heck we supposed to go now? Do devs really care about money more than good, right, humane ideals? Shame to you, both to Chuds and devs who couldn't stand for their ideals. I can't tell if this is satire or not, but if your little world revolves around your games having political tags or these lgbtq plus tags in order to have good humane ideals something is extremely wrong with you and it's also funny that this person seems to be living in la la land in which apparently money doesn't matter at all when it comes to these development teams and either keeping their lights on or keeping people from losing their jobs they don't care about that as long as they're able to have what matters most to them and that is their tags that is their uh, these political ideas and beliefs that also go along with themselves. And if a tag removal also apparently is able to take away your enjoyment from the game, 
then again, that is also something that is extremely wrong with you. As of writing, the LGBTQ plus tag has indeed been removed, but the game still features the politics and political same tags, which, should, as I've noted, should also get removed. There's no point in having politics and games when you want to either escape reality and enjoy these fantasy worlds that have been created for the entertainment purpose of the average gamer. And we also have this person right here, as noted by former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern, a.k.a. Grum's Firewalk Studios, is the one who manages the top five tags on the game. He writes on X, Concord devs are busy deleting the LGBTQ plus and political tags from their game. These are added by both dev users, but the top five tags that appear are sorted based on developer control. They used to display them proudly. He added, since Community Notes is trying to claim these are under user control, I posted the Steamworks documentation to show how devs control the order of the tags and which tags apply. They are absolutely running away from these terms. And if you just go to this post, you can see that the LGBTQ plus tag used to be up front and center. The number one tag they can see on the Steam page, and this is probably right after the release date of August 23rd, probably within the first few hours of the game's opening launch. As can be seen in one of the images that Grumps shared, the LGBTQ plus tag was the top listed tag for the game. The tag is not listed as one of the 16 tags that are shown to users as of the time of writing. And you'd probably expect that they probably still do have the LGBTQ plus tag in there. They just moved it at the lower bottom of the list. But that is not the case, as you can go here and click on this button. And you can see right here, it is nowhere to be found. They've absolutely removed it and apparently have caused people to lose their enjoyment for the removal of this tag. And this is what's crazy to me is that when you have this type of audience that you're trying to appease and you try to do your best and it still fails, that is when you know something is wrong with the audience that you are chasing. You should be chasing the generic audience that could be entertained by every single person, not just a small minority group, which we are continuing to see time and time again in every sort of media form when it comes to movies, gaming, and even comic books nowadays. It's getting absolutely ridiculous and crazy out here. And the books that kids are reading in schools, uh, this world has gone insane. But with all of that in mind, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on all of this. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.